Specification of Engineering Services. This is our new topic. We have various classification of services and these are consultation, research, investigations, and reports, then preliminary and feasibility investigations and reports, then planning studies, then bidding or negotiation phase, then operation phase, then public involvement, then design services for construction projects, then construction services, then appraisal valuations and rate studies, then special services for construction projects, then engineering support services, then academic services, then assistance in financial matters, then materials, engineering, and equipment tests, then inspections and evaluations of existing facilities and structures, then lastly, services as employee. Um, consultation, research, and uh, investigations, and reports. Consultants may be engaged to provide consulting services or to conduct various types of research studies or investigations. These services primarily deal with collecting, interpreting, and reporting information as well as formulating conclusions and making recommendations. Preliminary and Feasibility Investigations and Reports These services usually precede the authorization of a capital project and may involve extensive investigations, analysis of conditions, and comparisons of several possible plans. They may focus on alternatives analysis, environmental impact, sustainable development, operating costs, life cycle costs, financing considerations, and expected revenues as basis for conclusions and recommendations regarding the advisability of undertaking a project. Planning studies. So these services include the broad areas of developing master plans, for long-range capital improvement programs, preparation of land development plans, urban plans, and regional plans, and the investigation of environmental conditions and preparation of environmental impact studies with subsequent planning to improve or maintain existing conditions. Such planning often requires coordination of the work of engineering and other disciplines. Bidding or negotiation phase. Services under this phase may include the following. First, assist the client in advertising and obtaining bids or negotiating proposals for each separate prime construction contract. Maintain a record of prospective bidders to whom bidding documents have been issued. Attend pre-bid conferences and receive a process and deposits for bidding documents. Then issue addenda as appropriate to interpret, clarify, expand, or amend the bidding documents. Then assist the client in determining the qualifications and acceptability of prospect contractors, subcontractors, and material suppliers. In addition, advise the client to the acceptability of alternative materials and equipment proposed by the prospective contractors when substitution prior to the award of contract is allowed by the bidding documents. Then lastly, attend the bid opening, prepare bid tabulation sheets, and assist the client in evaluating bids or proposals and in assembling an award contracts for construction, material, equipment, and services. Operation phase. 
At the completion of construction as a basic service, the consultant may assist with the start-up of project operations. The consultant may be commissioned to prepare a manual for both operation and maintenance requirements and may also provide assistance in adjusting and balancing equipment, identifying deficiencies and assisting in obtaining corrections, and performing inspection prior to the end of the project warranty period. The consultant may assist in operator training, setting up job applications and salaries, organizing the purchase of supplies, developing charts for recording operational data, and observing and reporting on project operations. Public involvement. The client may engage the engineer to present a project concept, technical analysis, or planning study to the public. In addition, the client may use the engineer to solicit public involvement on a particular project or study. These services require the engineer to be familiar with the array of public involvement techniques in order to achieve the desired result. Design services for construction projects. This offers the complete architectural and structural design of the structure to be constructed. It is where spaces and layouts become a precise set of drawings, schedules and specifications, which communicate to the builder exactly what things are made of, where they are to be located, and how they work together to make up the building. Construction services. Professional engineering services are required for each of the six typical phases of a construction project. Ideally, for consistency and efficiency, all services should be provided by the same consultant, although at times services in various phases can be furnished by different consultants or by the client. The six standard phases of a construction project and the engineering services needed for each are as follows. First, study and report phase. This phase is the analysis of client needs, evaluation of alternatives and recommendations for preferred option, conceptual design, conceptual opinions of the probable construction cost. Second is the preliminary design phase. Preparation of final design criteria, preliminary drawings, outline specifications, and preliminary estimates of construction costs. Third is the final design phase. Preparation of construction drawings is in this phase, specifications, estimates of probable construction costs, and other contract documents. Fourth is the bidding or negotiating phase. Um, in this phase is where the assistance to the client with the bidding or negotiating process for construction of the project happen. Fifth is the construction phase. It is where representation of the client during construction and inspection of construction. And then lastly is the operation phase where the assistance to the client is in start up and operation of the project, including periodic inspection, should be done. Appraisals, Evaluations, and Rate Studies These services may include investigations and analysis of existing conditions, estimates of capital and operating costs, overhead costs, and financial costs, and forecasts of revenues for property development or for the recommendation of prospective utility rates. Special Services for Construction Projects Special services required during the study, design, construction, and operation phases of a construction project may include investigations, reports, and activities beyond the scope of the basic services. These services, many of which are also listed earlier in this chapter under the category consultations, investigations, and studies, relate to feasibility, scope, and location of the project. The research compilation of engineering data and appreciation of property may involve professional specialists in engineering and other fields. Engineering Support Services 
offers services to coordinate the participants and to provide each engineer an environment, also called a workspace where they can work independently in the task duration. The former one refers to cooperative work support and the latter one is mostly called workspace support. Academic services. The term academic services may refer to a wide variety of instructional methods, educational services, or school resources provided to learners in the effort to help them accelerate their learning progress, catch up with their peers, meet learning standards, or generally succeed in lessons related to civil engineering. Assistance in financial matters. A client who is planning to issue bonds, particularly revenue bonds, to finance a capital project may engage a consultant. The scope of services may include an evaluation of capabilities of existing and proposed facilities to meet present and projected future needs, statements of probable construction costs, and an estimate of annual revenue requirements, as well as the determination of appropriate rates to provide this income. The consultant also may act as the responsible agent to certify that certain terms and conditions of the beneficiaries are carried out. Materials, Engineering, and Equipment Tests These services include tests of materials and equipment under established codes and standards, specialized examination of equipment and material used in construction and industry, and other inspection and monitoring required by clients. Inspections and Evaluations of Existing Facilities and Structures these inspections include material testing for a bridge, sewage treatment plant, airport runway, and other facilities or structures. Services as employee. These services means taking tasks from employers as third-party providers to do their company projects like an employee to their company. That ends for a discussion about classification of engineering services. Check on our next topics.